you're on. Praise the Lord. Amen. When we stand we keep silent. Hallelujah. He's, he's worthy. He's worthy for the praise. Amen. I'd like to just uh, open it up with prayer. Just thank God for all his presence being here. Hallelujah. The ones that tune in on Facebook. We just thank you. We, Estamos gracias have a church, we ask that you por todo lo que estamos aquí hoy. Si church. no tienes una iglesia, encuentra una iglesia. Es una relación con Dios en estos últimos días. Estamos en los últimos días, en los tiempos de prueba. Padre, atamos nuestra fe junta. Venimos en tu presencia, alabando y glorificándote. Tenemos tu corazón y nuestro corazón en arrepentimiento. Perdona nuestros for pecados sins, por todo lo que hemos for hecho, por todo lo que hemos fallado, Señor, por los pensamientos. Ayúdanos, Señor. Danos la mente de Cristo para servir y el entendimiento de tu palabra. Te pedimos que nos mantengas cuando no podemos mantener el mundo. Pero oramos por todas las almas de aquí que puedan oír la voz. Toca a sus familias, sus niños que están entrando en las escuelas ahora y oramos sobre todas las escuelas. Te pedimos tu protección. Cubre a todos los niños en este lugar, todos los maestros, todos los que trabajen, que estén juntos en las escuelas, que estén protegidos y manténnos a nosotros cuando no podemos mantenernos nosotros mismos. Tenemos una oración especial. Por esta Lord familia. God, we call out the Phil, Llamamos la familia Philip. Y a cada una de nuestras familias. Como llamamos todos los que han caído, que se han ido, se han dejado el ministerio, que tú los traigas para atrás. Vamos a hablar sobre nuestros gobernantes que están sobre nosotros, que hagan tu voluntad. Te pedimos y te pedimos que tú nos mantengas y nos salves. Eso que está sobre nosotros. Te pedimos, Señor, que en la mente de Cristo. Y te pedimos que mantenga en tu mano sobre estas facilidades de la YMCA y toda la alma que está involucrada en este lugar. Te pedimos que lo mantengas en el nombre de Jesús, por el liderazgo de la iglesia. Y pedimos eso en el nombre de Jesús. Amén. Y amén. Thank you, Lord, for being able to be here today, Lord God, that we can give unto you honor, Lord God, that we can worship your name, Lord God. I pray for all this that they can give today and those that cannot, Lord God, to keep this building open, keep your praise and worship alive in our hearts and bring more people to your kingdom. We ask you to bless each and every one that is watching today and all those that are here today. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. 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 Glory to God. Amen. God is good. Amen. 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 You know, it's my, I'm on my vacation here. Do you mean any vestidura de vacación? My last day of vacation. Mi último día de vacación. Mine too. His too. <laughs> Going back to work too? Yeah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. God has healed us. Hallelujah. So yeah. <laughs> We're going back to work, man. <laughs> It's good to go back to work, isn't it? Uh, yeah. Rachel's happy. Rachel's going to party. Get out of my house. Afuera. Y es más rápido que se también. It's good to be in the house of the Lord, amen. It's good to uh, honor those that are, are here today, Pastor Lenroy and Rachel, for doing all that work in the background, interpreting all the Sunday school material. And sometimes, you know, it's very important to have it in both languages. It's important that Rachel interprets all the material in the Escuela Dominicana and the hermana. And Sister Johnson and Hermana también que trabaja muy fuerte para las cosas que, que hacemos aquí. She works very hard for all that we do here. Amen. 
Let us give honor to the people. Amen. Let's come and bring our Bibles up to the book of Jude, el libro de Judá. Judas, el apóstol, está casi al último antes de Apocalipsis. Es el libro antes de Apocalipsis, the book right before Revelation. And today we're going to talk about it's like the second part of last Sunday's sermon. And it's called the Great Deception. La Gran Decepción. Va a ser el título del mensaje. So in the book of Jude, in the libro de Juda, nos da aquí unas advertencias. It talks about the things to come. We're going to focus in verse uh, 3 and 4. Vamos a ver los versículos 3 y 4. Ahí vamos a mirar que es el propósito de la carta. We're going to look at the purpose of the letter of the book of Jude. And I'm going to read verse 3 and 4. When you find the same amen, cuando le encuentren y digan amen. All right. Ahora, lo que se me olvidó es tenerlo en bilingüe. ¿Alguien lo puede leer en español? Dos versículos nada más. Vamos a leerlo primero en inglés. Beloved, I gave all vigilance to write unto you the, of the common salvation. It was needful for me to write unto you and to and exhort you that ye shall earnestly contend for the faith which was once delivered unto the saints. Número tres. Praise the name of Jesus. Vamos a orar. Let's pray. Padre todo poderoso, Almighty Father, we come before you. Venimos delante de ti en este día, Señor. Sabemos que hay mucho malo alrededor de nosotros. We know there's much evil all around us in every place that we go in todos lados. Donde vamos, te pedimos, Señor, que en este momento te manifiestes en nuestros medios. At this time, Lord God, be manifested in our midst right now. We bind every devil, everything that is not of you out of this place. Te pedimos que hagas todo demonio, todo lo que no sea de ti en este lugar. Y te pedimos, Señor, que te manifiestes. We ask you to manifest yourself in our midst today. Que tú vengas con tus ángeles. That your angels be here with us today to bring forth the reading and the, and the word of God that you have given me today para traer adelante la palabra y la lectura de la palabra que vamos a estar en nosotros estudiando en este día. And we ask you, Lord God, y te pedimos, Señor, que nos dé la libertad. Give us the liberty and the peace y la paz para que podamos echar adelante en este enseñamiento that we can press forth through your peace, Lord God, in this teaching today, Lord God, that you will bring, Lord, to our attention the days that we're living, que tú traigas a nuestra atención los días que estamos viviendo. We ask and thank you, Lord, for bringing us here peacefully, Lord God. We thank you thank you for bringing us back to labors, Lord God, for bringing healing in our bodies. Le damos gracias por sanar nuestros cuerpos. As Brother Lee is here and confessing, and we're going back to work tomorrow, y vamos atrás a trabajar mañana, it is not because of the doctors, no es por los doctores, it is because of your grace, es por tu gracia Señor, que somos libres Señor de los dolores, we are free from the pains that we suffer in our bodies but you gave us doctors and I thank you for them te doy gracias por los doctores, que no es a través de su conocimiento, it's not in their knowledge, but through your spirit that you brought liberty to our bodies, in Jesus name we thank you, te damos gracias que nos traiste libertad en nuestros cuerpos, a través de esos doctores, en nombre de Jesús te damos gracias amén, we thank you in Jesus name and people God say, amen amen, amen. amen. So we're talking today, last week we're talking uh, about the signs. Estamos hablando de las señales. And there's a lot of signs that we're living today, amen. 
muchas señales que estamos viendo hoy, pero nosotros tenemos que estar advertidos. We need to be warned and we need to realize that today there's a great deception going on all around us. Hay una gran decepción que está alrededor de todos nosotros. Es a través de, de muchas áreas. It's many, I'm not going to get into the details of what's going on because I get x out of uh, YouTube and everybody else because if I get into very much detail, guess what? They don't want to hear that. Ellos no quieren oír los detalles. Ellos no quieren que tú hables la verdad. They don't want you to speak the truth. But we're going to focus on the words here. Vamos a enfocarnos en la palabra de Dios. Who that? And he, he drew, wrote this message of salvation, but he led, he was led by the Spirit to abandon his theme and warn believers of the false teachers now in the church. El Judas está tratando de traer un mensaje de salvación, pero el Espíritu Santo le dejó que abandonara ese mensaje y atraerle a él el conocimiento de los falsos profetas en la iglesia en estos días. So, in, as a parallel, como un paralelo, let's go to 2 Peter 2.2. A segunda de Pedro 2, 2. We're going to be bouncing around. We're going to be, I'm not, I'm not going to overwhelm. We have too many scriptures. If you can find it, if you want to take notes, you can go ahead and us. Or si lo quieren encontrar, estamos en segunda de Pedro 2, 2. Está todo cerca de ahí. It's, everything is close together, so we shouldn't get too lost in, in too many scriptures. And when you find it, segunda de Pedro 2, 2. And many shall fall, follow, I'm sorry, and many shall follow their pernicious ways by reason of whom the way of truth shall be evil spoken of. Y muchos seguirán sus disoluciones por los cuales el camino de la verdad será blasfemado. How many of you know that they call evil good and good evil right now in these days today? ¿Cuántos saben que llaman lo bueno malo y lo malo bueno en estos días? Amen. How many of you are aware that people will do their evil deeds? I remember one time, you know, I get aggravated, you know, because sometimes people not only violate the law, but they by violating the law, they call that good. Amen. Like people that park in the handicap spots. Amen. They'll go park in the handicap spot. They're not handicaps. Parqueros, parqueros de los de los que están inválidos, verdad? Que han sufrido y tienen problemas físicos. They got you know physical, and I see this every day. They just love to do it. They call it righteous. They say, oh, you know, I didn't want my car to get damaged. So I'm going to park in the handicap spot. No quiero que mi carro se alguien le haya hecho daño, pero voy a parquear. But you know what? The, the, the bottom line is they call the law bad. That is already implemented. The law of God is more important. La ley de Dios es mucho más importante que la ley del hombre. Amen. Pero nosotros que estamos viviendo ahora, they want to call the bad good and the good bad, which, you know, when you look at what the nature of God has created, cuando vemos la naturaleza de Dios que ha creado, nosotros vemos que ahora en estos tiempos que vivimos ahora, en these times that we're living today, amen, they want to call what the pastor said earlier today, homosexuality, as a good thing, amen, that you can be whoever you want to be, que tú puedes ser cualquier sexo y homosexualidad, que es algo normal, it is not normal for you to go out of your nature and natural things of the way that God created, amen, but today they want to push this agenda in our midst and to our children, quieren empujar esta, esta agenda que tienen ellos para el mundo, para sacarnos de la verdad, they want to take us far from the truth, amen, Jude was written later for For Peter prophesied of these false teachers will come. Amen. There's many churches today. Hay muchas iglesias ahora que están enseñando falsedades. They're teaching false doctrines. They got people that are not living by the natural law. And I'm going to put it just simple like that. The natural law of nature. Amen. And they want to allow ministers to get in the que ministros y personas que no están viviendo de la manera natural para dirigir servicios. You know, they, they put people that are not living in a natural way. I'm just going to put it nice and sugarcoat it a little bit. But people that are just not living as a man and woman, they live in a false truth. Están viviendo una falsa verdad. Dirigiendo iglesias. They're, they're guiding churches. They're preaching. And this is the most wicked thing that we can see today. Es lo más malo que podemos ver. Cuando vamos nosotros y vamos a ir a 2 Pedro 2.1, we're going to go to 2 Peter 2.1, you're right there. But there were false prophets also among the people, even there shall be false teachers among you who privily shall bring in damnable heresies, even denying the Lord that brought them and bring upon themselves swift destruction. Pero también hubo falsos profetas en el pueblo. 
como habrá en vosotros falsos doctores, en el introducirán encubiertamente herejías, herejías de perdición y negarán al Señor que los esca, es, escató, rescató, atrayendo sobre sí mismo perdición acelerada. So they bring in swift destruction by allowing these false teachings, permitiendo estas falsas doctrinas que vengan, allowing these false teachings, they bring in a swift destruction. Están trayendo una perdición acelerada. Today we see our world fast forward into destruction and evil ways. Vemos a nuestro mundo acelerando, estando perdidos en sus maneras viles. Amén. Si miramos al verso 2, 3, 2 Peter 3, 3, it says, Knowing the first, knowing this first, that they shall come in the last days, scoffers walking after their own lust. They're walking after their own lust. Sabiendo primero eso que los proste, uh, postrimeros, en los postrimeros días vendrán burladores amando según sus propias concupiscencias. They're after their own lust. Whatever wicked it may be. Como vil que pueda ser su deseo. Dicen que está bien que un hombre que, que tiene mucha edad está con niños. ¿Verdad que eso está mal? That is evil when you know you have all people trying to be, you know, you know, they they pedophiles, they pedophilia. Está sucediendo, lo llaman normal. Está en los lugares más altos del gobierno. It is in the highest place of government. It's in the richest place in Hollywood. Está en Hollywood. Está en Disney World. Disney World ha puesto muchas cosas que nadie se dio cuenta. Nobody ever noticed the wickedness that was inside those cartoons. But we see that, right, Rachel? Nosotros lo hemos visto. This wicked way is bringing us to a fast, swift destruction. Esta manera vil nos está trayendo a nosotros una destrucción rápida. And you said that they're now here and, 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 and at work. Está sucediendo ahora en obra, dice Judas. He reminds us that Peter has already announced their condemnation. Pedro habló, él estaba diciendo, Judas está diciendo aquí que Pedro ya había anunciado su destrucción. He identifies these false teachers as the same people Peter described. Él llama a estos falsos maestros como los mismos que Pedro había describido. They creep in secretly, bring false doctrine and live in sin. Ellos van en secreto, traen falsas doctrinas y viven en pecado. Turning the grace of God into the vicious, verse 4. Ellos están mirando la gracia de Dios en en vituperando y haciendo you know, en, 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 en cosas que son viles. Amén. Second Peter 3, 4 is, and saying, where is the promise of his coming? For since the fathers fell asleep, all things continue as they were from the beginning of creation. Y eso es lo que el demonio quiere que tú pienses. Y diciendo, ¿dónde está la promesa su avenimiento? Porque desde el día de los padres durmieron Todas las cosas permanecen así como desde el principio de la creación. The devil will tell you, where is the coming of the Lord? ¿Dónde está la venida de Jesucristo? I'm here to tell you, Jesus is coming back, amen. Te estoy aquí a decirte que Jesús viene para atrás, amen. Él no se va a tardar. He, he's not going to allow this wicked generation to continue on. This is his earth. Esta es su tierra. Estos son los... Nosotros somos su pueblo. We are his people. Amen. He's coming back for a church that's pure. Viene por una iglesia que es pura. Y falta de pecado. Man, that was a good Sunday school. I didn't write this. I didn't even look at the Sunday school lesson when I got into the sermon. But it coincides perfectly. Yo no miré en la escuela dominicana. Estaba en otras cosas. Pero cuando yo escribí este sermón anoche. When I wrote this last night. When I got into this last night. I was studying you know, the commentaries and the worst piece commentary, and I found this, I was like, wow. This guy gave me the scripture first, then I went to the commentary, and I was like, this is exactly the signs of the times that we're living. Esas son señales de los tiempos en cuales vivimos, pero la gente está dormida. Entonces, it means that they told people that, that the grace permitted them to live as they pleased. If we look at Romans 6.1, si vemos a Romanos 6 unos, ¿verdad? And this is going to be a short message, but it's going to be, I'm going to try to be as clear as I can be. We're going to try to say lo más claro posible, porque yo no quiero que nadie se pierda en este lugar. I don't want nobody to be lost and bound in hell 
in this place or in Facebook or in, in YouTube when I put it on YouTube, amen. Why? Because the time is short. El tiempo está ya corto. What shall we say? What, what should we say then? Shall we continue in sin that grace may abound? Pues que diremos? Perseveraremos en el pecado para que la gracia, se, la gracia crezca? ¿Qué usted cree? Pues claro que no. Why should we continue to sin? Do we think that it's necessary? How as Christians to react to this danger? ¿Cómo deben los cristianos reactuar a este peligro que tenemos nosotros en nuestras familias, nuestros niños, todo lo que está alrededor? Everybody around us in this danger. Content earnestly, the Bible says in verse 3 of Jude, that Jude command, we are to defend God's truth and the body of in the, in the, uh, in the body of the of doctrine in the New Testament calls the faith. We are to be soldiers who hold and the fort at any cost. Debo que ser soldados que mantienen el, el lugar, el, 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 el forte con todo costo. And what is that for for you? That is your homes, that is your people, your family. Es el, ¿cuál es el lugar? Es tu familia, es tu personas que están alrededor de ti. We as men are responsible for the salvation of our family. Como hombres somos responsables por la salvación de nuestra familia. Amen? That's what we got to change every day. Por eso tenemos que cambiar diariamente. We got to be a better. I remember when, when Pastor Sabolchi preached for the quinceañera of my daughter. He told us we're going to be judged by how well we fill the role of the father. How well we fill the role of a wife. How well we fill the role of a daughter. El Pastor Sabolchi cuando predicó en, en, en la quinceañera de mi hija. Él habló que los padres van a ser juzgados de la manera que ellos sometieron su vida a ser buenos padres, buenos esposos, a las madres ser buenas madres, a los hijos ser buenos hijos. We're going to be judged, and I believe that, and to, because I never forget that sermon, because I won't forget that sermon. Yo no voy a olvidar de esa predicación. ¿Por qué? Porque es la verdad. The truth is that God wants us to fulfill a role as leaders in our home. Él quiere que cumplamos ese liderazgo en nuestros hogares como Él nos ordenó a nosotros. The way that He ordained us to be as men and women. Amen. Como hombres y mujeres. Amen. Now with this falsehood of the world today that is going, it doesn't mean that we're going to hate those people. We're not going to hate the sinner. We can hate the sin. Podemos odiar el pecado, pero no las personas. Because many have been bound. Todos muchos han sido atados. They've been brought. The argument in verse 5 through 6 saying, Jude, theme of this section is condemnation of the false teachers and those who follow them. He cites seven Old Testament examples and provide his point. Aquí hay ejemplos que tenemos en Viejo Testamento. Israel. We got the first example is Israel. Amen. Amen. Jews theme in the section of the commendations of these false teachers and those who follow them on these sites. God delivered Israel from Egypt. Dios liberó a Israel de Egipto y todas las plagas and all the plagues. What we got going on right now, we got these plagues going on. Amen? We, you know, we, we're, we're, we're fighting against these plagues. Estamos peleando contra estas plagas. But I tell you, if it was a plague from God, si era una plaga de Dios, I guarantee you a lot more people would be dead today. This was man made. It was created for a purpose. Eso fue creado por un propósito. Esa es la falsedad del mundo. That's the falsehood of this world today. Amen. They want to be God and create viruses. Quieren ser como Dios y crear viruses. But I tell you that the viruses that are about to come that God's going to put upon the earth. Que los virus y las plagas que Dios va a poner en la tierra va a matar mucha más gente. It's going to kill many more people. But guess what? God put them. Sign, he put a mark upon your forehead. He puts a mark on your cabeza. When you're baptized in the name of Jesus, when you're baptized in Jesus' name, he puts a mark over you that he's placed where it may not come nigh unto you. Que estas plagas no podrán venir en contra de ti. Entiendo lo que te digo? Do you understand what I'm telling you? You need to be fully vested. Tiene que estar completamente vestido en Jesucristo para poder sobrevivir lo que viene el próximo alrededor de nosotros. For you to survive what's coming to us next, you better be fully vested, baptized, and filled with the Holy Ghost, bautizado y lleno del Espíritu Santo, repenting every day, arrepentido todos los días, like what I taught last Sunday, repentance is key. And you know, you were talking about why they sacrificed twice a day. ¿Por qué sacrificaban dos veces al día en el Antiguo 
Testamento por los pecados del pueblo, for the sins of the people. There's two times during the day that Jesus is looking at you and is right next to you every day. Dos tiempos en tu vida que Jesús está al lado de ti y que te está mirando a ver lo que tú vas a hacer. Looking at what you're doing. That's when you wake up in the morning, cuando te levantas en la mañana, you should bring praise to God when you first open your eyes. Debes darle gloria a Dios cuando primeramente tú abres los ojos. Gloria a su nombre, amén. Because God is there with you. Dios está contigo ahí. A ver qué va a ser lo primero que tú vas a hacer en la mañana. What is going to be the first thing that you're going to do in the morning, amen? That was a key point. That was the key to the Sunday school. Man, I'm telling you, man, at night, when you go to sleep, cuando vas a dormir en la noche, you should ask God for forgiveness. Debes de pedirle a Dios perdón antes de dormir because tú no sabes, you don't know when God's going to come for your soul. Tú no sabes cuando Dios viene por tu alma. You don't know. It could happen in the middle of the day, puede ser a suceder al medio del día, o puede suceder al medio de la noche. Where will your soul go if you die when you go to sleep? That is determined by the prayer that you make before you go to bed. En donde tú vas a ir cuando tú te vas a dormir si mueres en tu sueño, determinado por la oración que tú haces antes de irte a dormir. Todo está muy caído, you guys are very quiet. This is serious stuff. Eso es algo muy serio. Is that it's something that I didn't realize what God was giving me when He gave it to me. I even doubted that this was the sermon for today. Yo dudaba que este era el sermón para hoy, pero Dios dijo no. Ahí está. Te llevé directamente donde yo quiero que estés. I took you directly to where you wanted to go. I took you to you. Amen. There's a purpose behind everything. Hay un propósito en todo esto. So He delivered Israel from the plagues, but I, afterwards had to destroy unbelievers. Pero él tuvo que destruir los no creyentes después. Jude makes it clear that these men are not believers. Él hace claro que estos hombres no eran creyentes. They did not believe in the miracles in Egypt. Ellos no creyeron en los milagros de Egipto. Some people forget the miracles of yesterday. Algunos se olvidan de los milagros de ayer cuando Dios te trajo de la calle cuando tú eras drogadicto, when God brought you out of the street, when you were a drug addict, when you were bound up in alcoholism, cuando estabas atado en alcoholismo, amén, cuando estabas borracho todo el tiempo, when you were drunk all the time. When you were beating on your wife, when you were beating on your children and yelling, and doing all kinds of unseemly things, haciendo cosas que no debías hacer, Dios te liberó. God delivered you. He brought you to a church that would teach you the truth. Te trajo una iglesia que te muestre la verdad. Does that make me perfect? No, I'm not perfect. Little boy is not perfect. Ninguno de nosotros somos perfectos. Yo no soy perfecto. Como pastores, a lo mejor somos los más perdidos. We could be the most lost out of all because God begins his judgment in the house of the Lord. Dios empieza su juzgamento en la casa de Dios. Los líderes son más peor juzgados. The leaders will be judged more highly than all of you. Más que todos ustedes. Why? Because we have to give an example. Tenemos que dar un ejemplo. It states that they do not have the spirit. El, aquí dice, ellos no tenían el espíritu. If you don't have the spirit, si tú no tienes el espíritu, you're lost. You're merely being in the church. Solamente estás en la iglesia. If you're going to get baptized in Jesus' name, if you don't have the infilling of the Holy Spirit, if you haven't repented as the first step, you are just part of the building. Solamente eres parte del edificio. Tú no eres parte de los creyentes. You're not part of the believer. You gotta believe and you gotta do accordingly. Tienes que creer y hacerlo de acuerdo. There, there's no evidence of salvation in people that just show up. Many are looking for a handout. Muchos están buscando que le den algo. Mucha gente en la iglesia. We see the lot, Rachel, anyway. In State Park, when we had our first building in State Park. Our first building started right down the street in Grand City, in Pontoon Beach. We were in Pontoon Beach, weren't we? El primer edificio ahí, estamos en Pantomí, pero cuando fuimos a State Park, había muchas necesidades en State Park, there was a lot of need, people looking for a handout. So we fed people, le dimos de comer a la gente, there was a great need, and there's nothing wrong with that, but it's not, you know, you, you gotta be part of the church. They would come looking for something, venían a buscar algo, buscando, mirando a tu mano, y no mirando al Dios que provee. They were looking at the hands, and not looking at the God that provides, amen? They were just looking at your hand. Merely being in the church is, is not uh, evidence of salvation. Many Jews were in the nation, yet destroyed because of their sin. Muchos estaban en la nación de Israel, 
pero fueron destruidos por su pecado. How many of those that doubted, amen? Cuando no dudaron de la tierra prometida, they doubted the promised land, amen? And if you doubt that there is a better place, once we leave this earth, si tú dudas que hay un mejor lugar cuando terminemos en esta tierra, it's all in vain. It's all in vain that what you do if you just go to church, you just go to church. You're not, you're not being transformed. Not seeing no transformado. Amen. You gotta be transformed. You gotta make up your mind that this is the truth, and you're gonna live by the truth. Vas a vivir por la verdad y no la mentira. You're not gonna look for false teachers. No vamos a buscar por falso. There's plenty of churches out there teaching false doctrines. Hay muchas iglesias enseñando falsas doctrinas. But we're in the church. We try to focus on doing what's right. We don't pretend to be perfect. No pretendemos ser perfecto porque no somos perfecto. You know, working in American Steel for all those years, trabajando in American Steel, boy, it brought the devil out of me. I used to get pretty angry at people. When I was an inspector, when you had an inspector, wow, tempers just rise. Because they didn't want to do the work. People don't want to do the work. Nadie quiere hacer el trabajo. They all, tienes que hacer, tienes que hacer un poquito más, pulir un poquito más. Like you got to sand a little bit more here. You got to, you know, you got to hit that, you know, critical area. But well, that's a critical point. That's, you know, exit out is no good. We can't sell that. The same thing in church. Tienes que sacar las partes críticas de tu vida. Tienes que ser bien miradas y cuidadas. You got to focus on the critical parts of your life. You got to look over them. And you got to make sure that everything is right with you before God. Que todo esté bien de ti. Delante de Dios. It's, it, you know, it was very hard labor. That's another example. I have a example. Los Angeles Caídos, the fallen angels. And we're going to go to 2 Peter 2 4. Segunda de Pedro 2 4. For God spared not the angels that sinned, but cast them down to hell and delivered them into chains of darkness to be reserved unto judgment. Porque si Dios no perdonó a los ángeles que habían pecado, sin que habiéndolos despeñado en el infierno con cadenas de oscuridad los entregó para ser reservados al juicio. They were preserved for judgment. Estaban reservados para el juzgamiento. I'm going to tell you what's going to happen. Tú voy a decir lo que va a suceder. This comes from my heart. I studied it and I know it. Esto viene de mi corazón. Estos ángeles caídos, these fallen angels, are being reserved to bring judgment upon earth in our time. Estos ángeles perdidos están siendo sostenidos para traer juzgamientos a estos, esta tierra en estos días. You know how they're going to be brought out? ¿Sabes cómo ellos van a ser sacados? They're going to call them extraterrestres. They're going to call them extraterrestres. You know, you know, aliens. Amen. These are fallen angels that are going to bring chaos to earth. Esos son ángeles caídos que van a traer destrucción a la tierra. If you don't got the Holy Spirit of God, si tú no tienes el Espíritu Santo de Dios en ti, they can do with you whatever they want. Ellos pueden hacer contigo lo que ellos quieran. They pueden poseer, they can possess you, they can bind you, they pueden atar. But you are to pray, pero tú eres ordenado a orar. Lo que es atado en la tierra es atado en el cielo. Whatever is bound on Earth is bound in heaven. You got the power over hell itself. Tú tienes el poder sobre el infierno mismo para sobrevenir esos demonios to overcome them demons that they're going to call aliens from outer space. ¿Qué van a llamar eso? Usted sabe que en la Biblia, los libros que no nos dieron, the books that they gave us, and I talked about this before, the book of Enoch, I don't teach out of it. It's not on the canon, but it's facts. Pero soy verdadero, because they use this a lot of the scriptures that are not written are in the Bible used as reference. Muchas escrituras que nosotros no hemos puesto la iglesia católica no nos dio esos libros están referidos a través de esta Biblia a esos libros. Amén. El libro de Ina, el libro de the book of Ina talks about how the fallen angels taught man how to create weapons and the Señor, ellos los demonios cómo hacer edificar este armas de destrucción y le enseñó a hacer mal al hombre. They taught man to do evil. How do you think we got the science that we do today? ¿Cómo tú crees que tenemos la ciencia que tenemos hoy? ¿Usted cree que la ciencia crece tan rápido? No, no es normal. It is not normal in the last 50 years how far we got. No es normal en los últimos 50 años como crecimos. Desde el principio del hombre, from the beginning of man, Satan was there at the garden of Eve. Satanás estaba en el jardín de, de ahí buscando cómo hacer el hombre caer. Looking to make man fall to push back the time of their judgment. Para empujar para fuera el tiempo de 
to who's got many people. The devils know what their finished place is going to be. They just have them out there, not angels. But God's going to use the demons to deceive the world. Dios no sabe esos demonios para mentirle al mundo porque no tienen a Dios adentro. They don't have God within them. So they don't know what's going on. They don't understand the lies that the government's giving you. Ellos no entienden la mentira que el, el, el gobierno te está pegando. Si tú no estudias la palabra, if you don't study the word, you're going to realize one thing, but I'm telling you it's true. There's going to be a great unveiling. It began many years ago, since the 30s. Empezó muchos años atrás. And they're going to say, oh yeah, these, these aliens live among us. Estos, uh, estos marciales vienen alrededor de nosotros. Y los van a llamar ellos han vivido con nosotros por mucho tiempo. These are Nephilim. Cuando los hombres y las mujeres, cuando los ángeles se metieron con las mujeres del hombre, when the angels got with the women of man, they created a race of Nephilim. They've been around the whole time, even after the flood. Some survived. I want this point because it's written in the Bible, even after the flood, the Nephilim was about. That's why the people of Israel, por eso el pueblo de Israel, tuvo que ir a todas esas naciones destruyéndolas completamente. They had to destroy utterly the nations because there was a mix damaged seed. Era una mezcla de la semilla de hombre con demonios. You think they're gone now? No, they're not gone. No se han ido. They're still here. They look, look more like you and me today. Se parece más a tú y yo ahora. But they're still doing that stinking experimenting with the DNA. That's why I told everybody, do not take the dog. You know, there's so many things they could do through DNA. Hay tantas cosas que pueden hacer con DNA. If they could rewrite your DNA and they could put something that doesn't belong there, so you just put escribir, poner algo que, que no es de, de humano, if they could put something that's not human into you, guess what? It will change you. But the grace of God is with us. Pero la gracia de Dios está con nosotros. Okay, so basically, Jude seems to be referring to the angels who consorted with the, with the daughters of man in Genesis 6, in which I read yourself, that Satan schemed to corrupt the human race and and prevent us from the birth of the promised seed. Él estaba tratando de destruir la promesa de la prometida semilla, que era quien? Who was that promised seed? You don't know who that promised seed is? What's the promise? Jesus. Jesus is la promesa. And Genesis uh, 3.15 says, And I will put enmity between the man, and the, between the woman, and between the seed and her seed, and shall bruise the head, and thou shalt bruise its heel. Y en el mistad pondré entre ti y la mujer, entre su simiente y la simiente suya. Este te herirá en la cabeza, y tú le herirás en el calcañar. Amen. These angels who defied God were judged and imprisoned in Tartarus. A special part of hell. Ellos fueron, esos ángeles fueron puestos en un especial lugar en el infierno. It's in the Bible. It's in la Biblia. I'm not coming up with making up stuff that's not in the Bible. It's real. But you know what? I know how it's going to be on, on bail. Yo sé cómo va a ser desatado. And I know what the purpose of the governments of the world is. And it's not good for you. That's why Jesus got to come and rule the world. Por eso Jesús viene a regir el mundo. Amén. Para ser el líder por mil años de paz, a thousand years of peace. How it's going to unwind, how it's going to happen, we don't know. No sabemos exactamente. But I know there's a lot of lies, diversions, false doctrines. They take it to church itself to bring this ideology to your mind. Ayer tengo ese idealismo a tu mente. Let's go to Sodom and Gomorrah. The phrases like manner suggest that the sin of these cities parallel with the fornication of the angels. Esa fornicación de los ángeles es paralelo a lo que sucedió en San Amin Mora. Por eso fue destruida por fuego. That's why it was destroyed by fire. That's why Lot had to be brought out of there. Por eso tuvieron que sacar a Lot. Abraham oró a Dios. Que Dios liberara a Lot. Mandó un ángel. He sent an angel. But they were in love with the city and the sin of the city. Ellos estaban enamorados con el pecado. La esposa de Lot, the wife of Lot. Turn back and turn to a pillar of salt. Amen. Ella vino para atrás y se hizo una estatua de sal. ¿Por qué? Porque ella miraba para atrás. Why would she look back? The angel told him, do not look back. Keep forward. No mire para atrás. There was, 
a desire of the livelihood that they lived on, you know, living that rap style, you know, having all those fancy cars, teniendo la, la vida de, de tener todos esos carros tan lujosos, la vida de ser tan poderosos, the life of being so powerful, all the homosexuality that was going on because the man wanted to have sex with the angels, and los hombres querían tener sexo con los ángeles in, in Sodom and Gomorrah, am I right or wrong? Right. It's in the Bible. Their lust burned so deep. Su, sus deseos y placeres de ellos estaban tan profundos. Quería tener sexo con los ángeles de Dios. They wanted to have sex with the angels of God. My place? This is the word. Amen. And then, you know, like the phrase, 2 Peter 2 6, and turning the cities of Sodom and Gomorrah into ashes, condemn them with an overthrow, making them an example unto those that after should live ungodly. That was an example for those that after that time will live ungodly. Y condenó la destrucción de las ciudades de Sodoma y Gomorra, tornándolas en ceniza y poniéndolas, por ejemplo, a los que habían de vivir sin temor y reverencia de Dios. They were living without fear or reverence towards God, and that is life today. Eso está vivo hoy, amén. You don't get it, do you? You guys are just like la la. <laughs> this is some serious business. That's just un negocio muy serio. This is some serious stuff going on here. You know, if we go to Second Peter two seven, and deliver just lot vexed with the filthy conversation of the wicked. Libro solo a justo la acosado por la nefanda conducta de los malvados. Verse number eight, for that righteous man dwelling among them is seen and hearing vex his righteousness soul, his righteous soul from a day to day with their unlawful deeds. Porque este justo con ver y oír morando entre ellos afligía cada día su alma justa con los hechos de aquellos injustos. Discusses, discusses these wicked cities Jude that says that the judgment of these cities is an illustration of hell. Esto era una ilustración del infierno, estas ciudades. It was an illustration of hell. How about Michael and Moses? Remember when Michael, the angel, and I mean, let us go to the scriptures, Dan, Daniel 12, 1. And at that time shall Michael stand in the great the great prince would stand before the children of the people and there shall be a time of trouble such as never was since there was in a nation even to that same time and that time that people shall be delivered everyone that shall be found written in the book. Y en aquel tiempo se levantará Michael el gran príncipe de esta sobre los hijos de su pueblo y será el tiempo de angustia cual nunca fue después y hubo gente hasta entonces más en el tiempo serán librados de su pueblo todos los que se hallaran escritos en el libro so who's going to be found written in the book quien va a ser encontrado escrito en el libro alguien me puede decir can you tell me who's going to be written in the book somebody <laughs> tell me man right here who's going to be written in the book of life what is it going to take for you to be written in the book of life right here they can say salvo. And how are we saved? ¿Cómo somos salvo? Aceptando a Jesucristo como Señor y liberador suyo. Amén. So we go to Deuteronomy 34, 6. And he buried him in a valley. We're talking about Moses. The reference seems to be the burial of Moses. And he buried him in the valley of land of Moab. Over against Bethphor. But no man knoweth this sepulchre unto this day. And then Randole in the valley of the tierra de Moab. Frente de Beth Puer, y ninguno sabe el sepulcro hasta ahora. See, Satan wanted to take the body of Moses because Moses had power with the people. Moisés tenía poder sobre la gente. Y Dios tuvo que parar al demonio de poder acceder el cuerpo de Moisés porque era semilla para el hijo de Jesús. The devil wanted to bring a stop to the lineage, el lineage, quería parar el lineage de Jesucristo. It happened to David, a sucedió a través de David, sus hijos, and all those that took the kingdom after that, some were good, some were bad, amen? 
But God made a promise that through David's lineage, he would bring the seed of salvation. Él prometió que a través de David, iba a traer la semilla de salvación que vino a través de Adán y Eva, vino a través de Moisés y muchos de los patriarcas de la Biblia, many of the patriarchs of the Bible, the lineage of the pure seed of God created in the, in the garden of Eve, in the, in the jardín de Eva. Amén. Eso fue la pura sangre de Dios. That was the pure blood of God. God created men and women to his image. Dios creó hombre y mujer a su imagen. No hombre y hombre, not man and man. Amen? But guess what? We all been touched by, the, by, by this stuff in our lives. One way or the other. I remember growing up in New York. You guys see it commonly now, but I saw it commonly back then in the 80s. Yo lo vi comúnmente en los 80s. Esa homosexualidad que está en todo lugar, la homosexuality was everywhere and just coming out of the woodworks. Saliendo, era algo claro en Nueva York, las calles de Nueva York. You can find just about any, you know, whatever you think is common now, was common back then, fue común en ese tiempo, lo que tú piensas que es común ahora. Like all these killing and shooting, I, I witnessed them. I had many people die in front of me. All right, when I worked in Harlem, in the ice cream trucks, I see people's brains falling out. Yo vi los cerebros de la gente que se fueron explotados, lo mataban así. You did something wrong and you didn't pay the dope man, si no pagabas por las drogas. Ahí te mataban donde tuvieras, no importaba. It's, you know, what's going on today was common for me when I was a kid. Era común para mí cuando yo era un niño. Yeah, so now it's getting into the, the suburbs and everybody, oh, we got to do something. Tenemos que hacer algo. You know what? It's never changed. The world has never changed. El mundo no ha cambiado, solo los tiempos. The world has never changed. It's been just as wicked ever since the beginning. I see what that means because those demonios hicieron así because the devil made it that way. Then we do uh, 34 in the Hebrew. Okay, we already read that. God will bring Moses back as one of the witnesses of the Jews during the tribulation period. I don't know if it's going to be true or not. And this is a commentator's. This is a commentator talking. You know, he's talking about Revelation again. And Revelation 11. We don't know exactly what's going to happen. I, I tend not to take the word of man as Bible. You don't call the palabra de hombre como Biblia. Because this is a commentator. But Satan tried to secure the body. Jude's point is that the archangel did not rebuke Satan. El Arcángel Miguel Michael, él no, él no le, le trajo palabra negativa a Satanás. For this takes more authority than Michael really had. It was the authority of God that would put a hold on the devil. For it takes the authority that, that really belongs to God. The angel allowed God to do the rebuking. El angel permitió que Dios hiciera el atamiento. For these false teachers in their pride despise authority and speak evil of holy things in their sin and ignorance. Porque estos falsos profetas en su propia orgullo. Ellos rechazan la autoridad y hablan lo vil de las cosas santas en su pecado e ignorancia. Let's go to Cain. ¿Qué pasó con Cain? ¿Qué hizo Cain? What did Cain do? Mató a su hermano. He killed his brother. The first murderer in the Bible. El primero que mató y cometió ese pecado en la Biblia. This example takes us back to Genesis 4 where Cain's appeared to be, to be at the altar without a blood sacrifice. Cain estaba en el altar sin un sacrificio de sangre. That's why Jesus had to die. Without the shedding of blood, there's no remission of sin. Sin derramamiento de sangre, no hay redimiento de pecados. It's in the Bible. That's why God had to enroll himself in flesh. Por eso Dios se cundió en carne y hueso. ¿Para qué? For what? To save humanity. Para salvar la humanidad. Amen? So, we see right here, it's very clear, that Cain appears to the altar without a blood sacrifice. What did he bring? ¿Qué trajo Cain de sacrificio? ¿Quién sabe? ¿Por qué Dios no estaba agradado por el sacrificio de Cain? ¿Qué trajo él? Nobody knows. Nadie sabe. What did he bring later on? What did Cain bring to the sacrifice to give on to God? Cain. 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 He brought. He brought crops. He brought the seed of 
corn, whatever. He didn't bring a blood sacrifice. No trajo un sacrificio de sangre. He did not bring the proper sacrifice. But his brother knew. Abel knew what it took to please to push away the judgment. Para empujar el juzgamento. Era sangre de animales. Por eso el pueblo de Israel hizo dos sacrificios diariamente por los pecados. That's what the people of Israel did. Two sacrifices a day for their sins. Amen. Because without the shedding of blood, there's no remission of sin. Amen. No hay redencimiento del pecado sin el derramamiento de sangre. No hay redención del pecado. There's no redemption of sin. That's why God had to come and robe the flesh. Por eso Dios vino al mundo y murió por nuestros pecados. He had to come and give the ultimate sacrifice. He was the seed of man, no era semilla de hombre. Para que nadie dijera que era un hombre normal. He couldn't be a natural man and he didn't come by the seed of man. He came by the seed of a woman. Vino a través de la semilla de una mujer. Porque a Eva en el Génesis cuando nos habló en 3.15. Pues puso la enemistad entre la mujer y el la serpiente, he put him in between the snake and crushed the head of the serpent and destruyó la cabeza de la serpiente. Why? Because God himself covered your sins and my sins. Wow. Dios mismo cubrió tus pecados y mis pecados. I can get into the chromosomes, but I'm not going to do that. Las chromosomas de, de, de Jesús no son igual que nosotros. It's not the same as us, but I'm not going to get into in scientific talk today. No way I'm just saying cosas científicas. I can explain to you all kinds of stuff, but it's not important today. First John 3.11. Let's go to First John 3.11. We're almost to the end. I only got like 12 more pages. Don't worry about it. We only got 10 minutes for 12 pages. We'll, we'll get through it. For This is the message that they heard from the beginning that we shall love one another. Porque este es el mensaje que habéis oído desde el principio, que nos amemos unos a otros. That is Cain, who was of that wicked one, and slew his brother, and whereas slew, is, uh, slew he him, because his own works were evil, and his brother's righteous. Como no, como Cain, que era maligno y mató a su hermano, y por qué causa que lo mató, porque sus obras eran malas, y las de su hermano justas. Hebrew 11, 4 says, By faith Abel offered unto God a more excellent sacrifice than Cain, by which he obtained witness that he was righteous, God testifying of his gift, and by he being dead, yet spake. Porque la fe de Abel ofreció un mayor sacrificio de Cain, por lo cual alcanzó testimonio que era justo, dando yo, Dios testimonio de sus presentes y difunto aún hablaba por ella even though he was dead his blood cried out su sangre lloró de la tierra la vida está en la sangre the life is in the blood amen la vida está en la sangre without the shedding of blood there's no remission of sins I'm going to repeat si la, si el sacrificio de sangre no hay redención de pecado we could go to Balaam vamos a ir a Balaam the terror of Balaam in, involved leading others into sin by personal gain. El, el, el pecado de Balaam fue de traer a personas en pecado en, por su propio beneficio financiero a traer a la gente y de decirle mentira. Balaam knew the truth but deliberately led, but deliberately led Israel to, into sin that he might make money. El trajo a Israel a pecado. Y now I'm not going to go into that because I even cut the scripture short. And you could go and look at this in Numbers 22 through 25, especially 25, 1 through 9. Amen. If you want to take note. And then how about Korah? ¿Cuántos saben quién era Korah? You know the sin of Korah? En los tiempos I know I'm, 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 I'm really boring right now. Read number 16. Korah and his, and his followers rejected the divine authority given unto Moses. Amen. And try to assume power for themselves. False teachers promote themselves to override the authority of God's servant. El Cora trató de, de mentir y sobre imponer su poder sobre Moisés para ponerse el poder sobre ellos. Una falsa enseñanza promota, promota y quiere, tratando de sobrevenir la autoridad de los servientes de Dios. You cannot overcome God's authority. When he puts somebody in charge of the church, you honor that person for the, 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 the title and the place that God has put them. Tú lo honras por el título y el lugar que Dios lo ha puesto, amén. Not because we're perfect, no es porque somos perfectos. Moisés no era perfecto, Moses wasn't perfect. He murdered, he committed, he went through a long trial, fue a través de muchas pruebas. 
Pero la oficina que Dios le dio a Moisés. But the office of Moses being the first apostle of the Bible, siendo el primer apóstol de la Biblia, amén. El primer apóstol. ¿Sabe lo que es la diferencia de un apóstol, un evangelista? Dios habla con ellos de cara en cara. They speak to them face to face. An apostle speaks to God directly. God speaks to an apostle face to face. Therefore, Moses was the first apostle of the Bible. El fue el primer apóstol de la Biblia, amén. Because that is the sign of a true apostle that God speaks to you directly. Es que Dios habla contigo directamente. Many wants to be apostles. Muchos quieren ser apóstoles, ¿verdad que sí? Right? But do they truly speak to God or they listen to somebody else? ¿Están oyendo a Dios o están oyendo a otra persona? O al demonio mismo, or the same devil. Amen? So we see the sin of Korah. And let's go on. So we're going to go to the ammunition. How are Christians to act in the light of this situation? First, they are not, to, they are not, they are to remember the word. Okay? You are to remember the word. Christ promised that mockers would come and now they had appeared. The growth of apostasy is more evident of Satan's determination to block the truth of the word of God. Further, Christians are to grow spiritually, building themselves up in the Lord. They should do this by praying in the spirit as the spirit leads. Romans 8, 26 and 27 says, Romanos 8, 26 and 27, they say, Likewise, the spirit of, that also help with our infirmities, for we know that we know that, that what we shall pray for as we ought, but the spirit itself makes intercession for us with groanings which cannot be uttered. Así como también el Espíritu ayuda a nuestra fraqueza, porque hemos de pedir como conviene, no lo sabemos, sino el mismo Espíritu pide por nosotros con gemidos indecibles. So we are, what are these groanings that are not understood? ¿Qué son estos gemidos que son indescriptibles? Hablando en lengua, speaking in tongues. That's when you get filled with the Holy Spirit. There's a sign, it's a prayer language. Es una, una, o una lenguaje de oración que la alma, the soul. Are you listening to me? The soul, la alma, pide por tus pecados. Praise for your sin. The cosas que tú no entiendes. In verse 27, verse 27. And they that search their hearts know that what is in the mind of the Spirit because he maketh intercession for the saints according to the will of God. Mas la escuñera sus corazones. Sabe cuál es el intento del Espíritu porque conforme a la voluntad de Dios demanda por los santos obeying the word and thus abiding in God's love and watching for Christ's return. What combination for, for victorious Christians' life, praying, learning, uh, living the Bible and expecting Christ's return. How are Christians to act towards those that are following these false teachers? ¿Cómo debemos nosotros actuar contra estos que están siguiendo estos falsos doctrinas? Versículo 22, anyway. And the admonition of the words treat each situation individually. Some persons are needed to show pity. Algunas personas lo hacen diferentemente. Alguien se siente mal. Others can be saved by the snatch out of the fire. Algunos pueden ser sacados del fuego. Some may be too far gone to hell. Algunos van a ser muy lejos y perdidos que no se pueden salvar. Jude warns us that as we seek to help others, we must take care not to be defied by them ourselves. Él nos dice que no debemos que cuando tratamos salvar a otros, no nos debemos poder y perdernos nosotros mismos. The Old Testament priest was not to get his garments defiled. El, el, el uh, obispo del Antiguo Testamento no podía tener su ropa sucia. That's why Jesus covers you with the white linen and gives you a new covering. Por eso es que Dios te cubre. Uh, pure religion is an undefiled before God. God and the Father is this, to visit the fatherless and the widows and their affliction and to keep himself unspotted from the world. La religión pura es y máscula delante de Dios es esta, visitar los huérfanos y a las viudas sus tribulaciones y guardarse sin mancha de este mundo. We gotta be abstained and far from the sins of this world. Too close to with a wonderful benediction and precisely the power of Christ to keep his own Christians not to keep themselves saved. Christ keeps them to the very end. Dios nos mantiene a nosotros que nosotros mismos no nos podemos mantener salvos, pero Cristo mismo nos mantiene hasta el mismo fin. Keep our minds in Christ. 
indicating that the Father has a personal interest in our preservation. Dios todo poderoso tiene ese ese deseo para preservarnos. We are kept by Jesus Christ. What more security than we have as Christians? What can we desire? Hebrews 12, 2 says, looking unto the Lord, the author and finisher of our faith, who the the joy that was set before him endured the cross, despising the same, the shame, and is set down at the right hand of the throne of God. Pues es os el autor consumador de la fe en Jesús, el cual habiéndose propuesto gozo, sufrió la cruz, menospreciando la vergüenza, y sentóse en la diestra del trono. Praise God. For Second Timothy one thirteen, hold fast from for uh, for hold fast of. First, Second Timothy 1 Timothy 1.13, hold fast the form of sound words which thou hast heard of me in faith and love which is in Christ Jesus. De tener la forma de las sanas palabras que me oíste en la fe en amor en Cristo Jesús. That good things which have committed unto thee keep by the Holy Ghost which dwelleth in you. Second Timothy 1.14. Igual de tu buen depósito por el Espíritu Santo que habita en vosotros. First Timothy 6.20 says, All Timothy, keep that which is committed to thy trust, avoiding profane and vain babblings and oppositions of science, falsely so-called. Oh, man, that's powerful. Science, falsely so-called, is happening today. O Timoteo, guarda lo que has condenado, evitando las vanas profanas pláticas de vanas cosas y los argumentos de falsamente llamando la ciencia. La ciencia, science, is what's going to bring people to be lost in today's time. La ciencia va a traer a todos que se, there's an awful doom awaiting those who reject Christ and teach Satan lies. Some we might be able to save, others we can only pity. May God help us to be faithful until he comes. Aquí hay una tremenda oscuridad que es lo que rechazan a Cristo y se atan a las cosas de Satanás y las mentiras. Lo mismo pueden cogerlos sin saber y no podemos ser salvos. Entonces, pobrecito de ellos que se olvidan de Dios. De cada uno de los fe que no Dios nos ayude en su venida. El pueblo de Dios, esta es la bendición de Dios. There's a blessing of God, amen. His coming is what we're looking for. Su venida es lo que venimos. My time just ran out. Mi tiempo se acabó. Vamos a pararnos a orar. Let's stand up and pray. And ask God to free us from ourselves. Because we are our worst enemy. Nosotros somos nuestro propio, propio peor enemigo. Father, Father, venimos delante de ti. Father, we come before you. We ask you to redeem us, Lord God. Que nos redima, Señor. Libéranos de todos nuestros pecados. Free us from all our sins. Because we all sin and come short of your glory. Todos venimos y pecamos y venimos por toda tu gloria. Te pido, Señor, que te manifieste en mi corazón. Manifest yourself in my heart and all of our hearts today, Lord God. That you will show us each step that we take this week. Que todo paso que cojamos en esta semana. Que sea un paso más cerca hacia ti. That we get closer to you through each step that we take this week, Lord God. Don't let the divine, the, the, those veil, I mean, those lies that the devil puts around in television and around us. Esas mentiras que pone el diablo a través de la televisión y alrededor de nosotros que nos vayan a hacer daño. Don't let that bring damnation unto us, but bring us to your word. Traenos a nosotros en tu palabra. Que podamos ser avivados so we can be revived and set free from this awful generation. Esta malvada generación. Liberamos, Señor. In the name of Jesus, we ask, and the people of God say, Amen. Amen. God bless everybody. We made it. We shut it off. God bless everybody on Facebook and YouTube. It was an honor.